Hi everybody, it's John Schwabes from policyviz.com with another PowerPoint tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to merge shapes today, in this case for a particular application, to make a three set Venn diagram. So if you're not familiar with Venn diagrams, check out the one chart at a time series on this channel. Basically a Venn diagram is gonna show you how sets overlap. So let's say I have two circles here, right? This is peanut butter and this is jelly and where they overlap, that's peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So we could add a third uh, a third circle there, we put them together. And now if I do this, I'm just gonna undo so you can see everything. If I just make these circles and put them together, you can't really see what's going on behind them, right? You can't see where the overlap is. So first thing we wanna do is change the transparency of the color. So I'm just gonna right click, I'm gonna go to format shape, and here I can change the, the transparency of the color. So I can see what's going on behind there, right? And I'm just gonna do that for each of these real quick I'll just make these so I could see what's going on behind that color. But what I really want to have is this overlap really looking kind of nice, right? I want to have that, that stand out. So what I can do is I can grab all three of these circles. I'm going to duplicate them. So now I've got them sitting over here. And what I'm going to do now under the Shape Format tab here at the top, I'm going to go to Merge Shapes. And in the Merge Shapes, I can really do a lot of different things with these three shapes. I can combine or union them. So there's just gonna be one thing, kind of looks like a, a Mickey Mouse. I can combine them, right? Which is gonna cut out that overlap. I'm gonna undo that. I could fragment them. So now they're all sort of cut up so I can you know, pull out stuff like this. And let me undo that again. I can intersect them, right? And the intersection here, of course, is right in that middle. That's the one we're gonna use. Actually, I'm gonna turn the transparency down. I'm gonna place it right on top. Maybe I even change the color or change the transparency even more. Maybe do that. And now I've got a little Venn diagram, right? So all I really need to do is just use this merge shape command to create shapes in different ways. And I can do that by doing any of these combinations. And sometimes I just play around with them. Sometimes they don't always work. They're not really always easy to do. And I have to sort of fumble around and play with it a little bit. But as you can see here, for this particular example, all I need to do is take three shapes, select all of them, that's the key, right? I have to select all of them. In this case, I just duplicate them because I'm gonna layer them together. I just duplicate them so I'm not gonna lose them. And then I can do really fragment or intersect for, for this particular example. Um, I do intersect, I like that, and I've got my little, my little wedge here. And if I wanted to do this even more, if I wanted to fragment this, I could do this and I could color each of these sections a little differently, right? If I wanted this to be, you know, green, and I wanted this section to be over here, and I wanted this to be some other color, I could do that, and I could create a really nice Venn diagram in PowerPoint without really having to do a lot of work in, in other fancier tools. So that's just a quick tutorial on merging shapes. Be sure to check out this channel for more information on how to use Excel, PowerPoint, and other tools for your data communication and data visualization needs.